Stop! Shoto! Go, go! Window, go! The Tanzania People's Defense Force has had an esteemed presence in the East African country since independence in the 60s. Over 27,000 soldiers are actively employed in bases throughout the country. Proper accommodation for officers has always been a problem. In Dar es Salaam, they are scattered throughout the city in dilapidated temporary houses. But that's about to change. China's Exim Bank provided a construction loan to build over 700 apartment blocks in eight provinces across Tanzania. This will provide accommodation to over 6,000 officers and their families. One of the conditions of the loan was that a Chinese company does the construction. Shanghai Construction Company, or SCG, was appointed for the task. This is the company's first project in Tanzania, one they take very seriously. Yeah. Personally, I'm appreciating. I'm working well with the Chinese. I can say they are serious. They are really devoted to what they, they are doing. Definitely, I'm quite happy working with them as far as this company is concerned. And what we are doing right away, I'm just positive towards what we are uh, moving on. <laughs> According to Tanzanian law, foreign workers are not allowed to do manual labor, which means over 3,000 local workers were employed on construction sites across the country. China and bicycles are almost synonymous, and SCG's incentive award brings a little bit of Beijing to Dar es Salaam. Tanzania, the traffic fee is very high and uh, compared to a salary. So we hope, also hope our workers, when they work good, we get them uh, good uh, transport. They can to also to reduce their work pressure, uh, their life pressure, and they're happy to us. It's more than just to give them money. <laughs> Alpha Kimaro is one of the officers that will soon receive a new apartment. His current living quarters are shabby and cramped. When guests come, they are forced to sit outside. There's also no running water inside the house. No water. Water, I'm going to take water out by use a bucket and put it inside. Every day, every day to get, catch water there, in the top or out of our house, and I'm put inside our house. Electrical installations are old and unreliable, and there just isn't enough space for his family's needs. This is a room for children. All children sleep here, girls, boys, and all visitors come here, sleep here. 
，都是这碗卤。Today, the Kimaros get their first chance to look at their new living quarters. I see this uh, a new house. This new house is good. Good. Because there are three rooms. Uh, master bedroom, uh, girl and boy. It's good. Kitchen, it's good. <laughs> Put a good condition, put up something in the cupboards. It's good. Yeah, this is the master bedroom. Hey, hey, hey. This is the master bedroom. Water inside. There's a washing. Your washing here. A system for rubbish water is good. Mm. To flush the rubbish water. The rubbish water. Yeah, you flush the rubbish water here. As soon as water and electricity are supplied by the local government, the Kimaros will be able to move in. A prospect they look forward to. Chinese people is a good people because it's built a house for a short time. And they build their good house and it's strong. Yeah. Welcome, Chen. <laughs> Probably the biggest residential development by a Chinese company in Africa is found just outside Luanda in Angola. This is Kilamba City. The 3.5 billion US dollar development was built to house about half a million people. After completion, it stood empty for several months and journalists called it a ghost city. But things have changed. Many Angolan families have since moved in. Currently, 85% of the project's apartments are occupied. The project consists of 758 storey apartment buildings, a dozen schools and more than 100 retail units. The construction company behind Columba City is the City Group, a big Chinese state-owned conglomerate. They have been operating in Africa for over 30 years. <laughs> Chinese 是我们引进的义务 The group has chosen Angola as the hub of its African operations Angola's civil war ended only in 2002 which means there's now a dire need for housing and development Kilamba is more than just a housing project. It's an entire satellite city, built according to Chinese specifications. I think that this was the Western Maverick president. I think that's a very important decision. 
He agreed to accept the Chinese uh, standard, Chinese uh, design code, in this project. All the project's roads lead from east to west and from south to north in a typical chessboard design. This is a quite uh, tradition of China, just as uh, Beijing. Traditional Chinese designs were adapted here and there to make provisions for the Angolan weather. The staircase lobbies were left open to provide natural ventilation and the windows were fitted with louvers to block out the harsh sunlight. We are really uh, uh, very pleased to receive uh, the advice from Angola uh, authorities and architects. Li Gang came to Angola as an interpreter and subsequently decided to make it his home. He and his Angolan wife first lived in a wooden house on the outskirts of Luanda. They were frustrated by the inconsistent water and electricity supply there and decided to move to Kilamba City. For the first time, they now have proper municipal services and access to a well-functioning public transport system. To Kilamba City. For the first time, they now have proper municipal services and access to a well functioning public transport system. According to their contract, CITIC is responsible for providing maintenance services within one year of completing construction. For large parts of the apartment blocks, this obligation has already expired. CITIC technicians are however still responding to maintenance callouts from all residents even when the damage was caused by residents themselves. The company says it sees this as part of their social responsibility towards Angola. And for residents of Kilamba City, this service has become a valuable added benefit. This giant housing development has been a valuable training ground and they're hoping to capitalize on what they've learned here. Okay, amigo. We are going to take all the advantages to the other African countries and then we also would like to make a more improvement uh, on the base of this product. In the three decades China's city group has been active in Angola, it's extended its scope of involvement far beyond construction. Agriculture has become another key focus area. Chinese 
，帮助朋友发展，帮助安哥拉人民发展。The company has built state-of-the-art agricultural research centers in the country to help Angola re-establish its agricultural industry. At the research center in the Malanja province, locals are given practical training in aspects like cultivation, irrigation and soil management. Some, like Pedro Paciencia, also had an opportunity to go to China for additional specialized training in agriculture. The training is very good because our teachers are very patient and the Chinese people are very hard to work and I like the way they teach. Me and my family, a lot of things I didn't know before like signals about the plant, why this plant is like this and before I didn't know I just see like when I see a plant got a yellow leaves, I don't know why, but by now I know what's going on, why that doesn't grow a lot, why it doesn't give uh, fruit, now I know everything, because thanks to that train I get in China. Yeah. My future plan is to give experience to others, to the newcomers. Yeah, one day, when I finish my training. So, so I can pass to others and then, like the way our government is thinking to stop the hunger and produce more food for the population. Post-war Angola is not an easy place to live in. Children in rural villages have learned to get by with very little. In an effort to help with these children's education, City constructed the school building in Ndede village. There are also three others in the rest of the country. Back in Luanda, it's also started a vocational school for young people who have passed grade 8. About 30 students are taken in at a time and given practical training in fields like civil construction, electricity and mechanics. They are also taught language and computer skills. In fact, our school, everything is for free, and we will to, uh, supply all the opportunity work for them. So if they just graduate, they will come to our company or other companies. Just up to them, um, themselves. CITIC employees are also given classes in Mandarin. The aim of these classes is to improve communication between Chinese managers and local workers, and also to open the door to other forms of training. The longer the company has stayed in Angola, the more it's become involved in different spheres of society, some of them totally unrelated to business. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ping pong is my favorite sport. And uh, the uh, ex world table tennis champion, Mr. Ko, Ko Yuhua, uh, is my good friend. China is uh, very good at table tennis. Angola is very good at basketball. So I really like to do something to introduce the most the strength, Chinese strength, to Angola to support Angola. City started a sports program whereby promising Angolan youngsters were taken to China for table tennis training. Acho que é muito bom porque são muito bons tecnicamente e com os técnicos chineses a pessoa tem uma evolução muito rápida e também acho que são muito disciplinados. The company has employed permanent Chinese coaches in Angola to train teams on different levels. I defeated the Angola kids three years or four years before. After that training, you know, one year training, okay, I was beaten by the kids. Since CITIC's sports program started, Angola has moved from number 12 in table tennis in Africa to number 2. Okay, agora fiquei em segundo, agora o meu sonho é ficar em primeiro no campeonato africano. E o outro é quando eu for sonho, irmão, para o Brasil. Ok. Two Chinese construction companies building homes on different sides of the African continent. Both acknowledge that they're doing these projects because it's financially worth their while. But it's also about honoring past relations and about building future ones. <laughs>